Hey friends, welcome to the Publish, Promote, Profit podcast. I'm Rob Kosberg, and every week I show you how to use a best-selling book to grow your income and your impact. And if you're interested in having your own best-selling book, I recorded a short video explaining our trademarked process at beginmybook.com. All right. Hey, uh, welcome everybody. It's Rob here with another episode of our Publish, Promote, Profit podcast. A very special episode. This is uh, part of our uh, special series on my book funnel book. And I have a great guest, a great uh, friend and mentor, and in many ways, the uh, father of certainly the modern book funnel, and that's uh, Russell Brunson of ClickFunnels. Russell is a New York Times and Wall Street Journal bestselling author of three books, Dotcom Secrets, Expert Secrets, Traffic Secrets. Maybe many of you listening have bought one or all or more of those books. They are behind me on the bookshelves, <laughs> a constant resource. Uh, he's built a following of millions of entrepreneurs and, of course, is the co-founder of a company many of us know and love, ClickFunnels, which probably is a billion dollars or more valuation. I don't want to embarrass you with that, but you know better than me, uh, which, you know, tens, hundreds of thousands of us use. I've been a beta, beta user of ClickFunnels since the very, very early days. Very I love beginning. It. Everything we, we do and build is in ClickFunnels. So, Russell, brother, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for, for being on this and taking some time. Oh, no, no worries, man. So good to see you. And this is a topic that's near and dear to my heart. So I'd love to it's be fun to talk about. It. I'm excited. Very cool. Very cool. You know, maybe we were talking about this, you know, just off the recording for a moment. Maybe that's the best way to start. Uh, a lot of people think, you know, that to be an author, you need to love the process of writing. <laughs> you need to embrace it. And, you know, for those of us that know you, you don't, I mean, you've written a number of books, Wall Street Journal, New York Times bestsellers. Talk a little bit about, about that part of it, the difficulty and why you continue. Yeah. Books are, of all the things I do, by far the hardest, uh, mentally, physically, emotionally, <laughs> like all the things. And honestly, like when you look at like, you know, you make 10 bucks off a book and you put that much time into it, like their ROI directly is, it's hard to see directly that a lot of, we'll talk about this, the, the long-term ROI is huge, but yeah. it's, it's just hard. I remember I was talking to Ryan Holiday, who's a real author. I, you know, like he tells me he writes a book and the day he finishes the first book, he starts the next one the, the same day. So that way there's no lag. I'm like, oh, I'm not that way at all. Wow. I finish it. And then I'm like, oh, and I like to detach from the world. And, but also like the, the reason, and I'm working on my fourth book right now, which is called the secrets of success. And like, mm. and this is my first personal development book, but I'm obsessed with books. Uh, I don't even know, you know if, if you know this yet. I'm actually building a 20,000 square foot library behind us in the three lots back here. Awesome. Um, I'm a collector of books. I collect old books. I have probably one of the biggest rare LDS Mormon book collection in the world. One of the biggest, if not the biggest personal development book collection. I collect old books from Napoleon Hill. I have first editions of all of his work. I have, wow. Anyways, I'm, I'm obs like OCD. In fact, if you want, I know you're coming to Boise probably in a week or two. If you want yeah, me, yeah. I, can, I can show you the I have an office just for books, like a 3000 square foot office, just holding my books separately from this one. I got to see like, it. I would love, I love books. It. I'm obsessed with them. And the reason why, and this is a big epiphany I've had over the last probably 12 months or so, is you think about every other form of, of content, right? Everything else dies. Like we do funnel hacking live. We do this big, huge seminar. It's amazing. We change people's lives. And then the seminar ends and it dies. Right. It all disappears. Like of all the things I've ever created, this book, dot com secrets, expert secrets, traffic secrets, like they keep living. They live beyond themselves. Yeah. Napoleon Hill, I'm reading his books, you know, 150 years later, I still have them, right. you know, and I look at, I look at the people that we forget about, they die and they, and, and their legacy dies is because they were great content guys. They were great on radio. They're good on, they have audio courses. They got CDs, they got DVDs, they have these things, but those things die. Right. I, could, I mean, it's crazy to think about this. Like I don't have a DVD player. I can't watch a DVD. I can't listen to a CD. I can't listen, but I can still read the written word. Right. I think the written word is the most important thing we have as a society as human. And for us, is people who are trying to create something and leave a legacy. A book is the thing that leaves a legacy more than anything else we can do. Um, and so that's why I'm obsessed with them. That's why I keep writing them. That's why I keep buying them. Um, I love books. And so, but man, it is not an easy process. <laughs> I am not a writer, I wouldn't say. I respect people who are, but um, it's such a necessary part of my life. And so I, in my head, I have every two years, I need to, to release a new book-ish. She's closer to three, but that's kind of the my goal till I die. So there you go. <laughs> you know, that's very cool. I, I didn't know that was your schedule. That's actually my schedule as well. And I'm the same way. I mean, I people think that, you know, because I've founded a bestseller <laughs> publishing that, you know, I love writing books. It's the exact opposite. I mean, bestseller publishing facilitates my writing of the book so I don't have to be 
the Ryan Holiday type author that's always in the content creation mode. So I didn't know that. Every two years, three years, very, very cool. That's uh, yeah. that's well, it's funny. Schedule. After I, I did dot com secrets, I was like, I'm never writing a book again. And then, sure enough, like a year and a half later, I was like, oh, and I did extra secrets. And after extra secrets, I was like, I'll never do it again. And I remember I hung out, I was hanging out with Brendan Burchard at this little meetup we did. And uh, he told me, he's like, this is his publishing cycle. He's like, I do a new book every two years, yeah. whether I like it or not. And I was like, okay, I think I can get behind that. Like it's, it's, it's a lot, but yeah. it gives me a year to think about it, a year to put it together. And then, and so that's kind of the, you know, that point aside, like, right, that's my schedule. Yeah. <laughs> hey, talk to me about the newest book. You're going to do your first self-help type book, self-improvement book. What's the vision of that? What's your, what's your thinking there? Obviously you're going to reach a much bigger audience than just the kind of funnel world, but what, what's the big picture for that? Yeah, a couple things. I mean, everything always eventually funnels down to click funnels, right? right. And um, it's interesting. Like I look at when we when we do joint ventures with people, like personal development lists are some of the best ones. People who are in personal development, they love growth. And then the next phase from growth, usually most people is contribution, which is starting a business. And so there's a natural, like if I get people to, to mentally grow and physically, you know, like change their lives, right. the next thing they want to do is they want to contribute and start a business. So there's, it's very big top of funnel, you know, so long-term strategy from there. From like a more like legacy reason is first off, as I've been buying all these old first edition, you know, Napoleon Hill, Charles Handel, like I, I, you know, people, most people, Orson Sweet Martin, like all these people, you know, most people don't even know about them and buying these first old books and reading them. And it's crazy what people are talking about in the 1850s, the early 1900s and personal development that's been like forgotten and lost. And so for me, it's funny. I, I don't look at myself as like a super creative person. I'm a curator. Hmm. So what I do like, if you look at dot com secrets, it's my curation of me spending a decade in marketing, like curating all the best ideas and putting them in, in sequential order that makes sense in my head. And that's kind of my personal development book too. It's like, I've been geeking out on this stuff at a level I don't think most people ever have. And so it's not like this is Russell's ideas of personal development. It's like, this is my curation of like, also if I figured out in the order that makes sense to me and the practical application of here's how I actually did it in my life and here's the results. And trying to give people a model they, they can use as well. And so that's kind of the, you know, the real reason that I want to do it. And luckily it fits into my model. Like eventually those people will probably want to build a business anyway. So that's kind of how we, we do it. And it's fun because I bought secretsofsuccess.com and that that's, it's not live now, but that website, that blog, that will become a business where a lot of these old materials are in the public domain. So the copyright's expired. So I'm going to be republishing a lot of these books and turning a lot of old Napoleon Hill things into audiobooks and just new things that like people haven't seen forever. Wow. Um, and so I'm excited just to have a whole brand and a business that's bringing a lot of these things back to you know, bringing these people's legacy back and like extending their legacy even longer. So love yeah. it. Love it. Well, I can't wait to help. And there'll be a lot of that. book funnels involved that aren't my books, which is exciting too. I could just keep doing book funnels and not have to write new books every time. <laughs> you know, that's a great idea. Public domain type book funnels. Very, very smart. I, I you'll see that. me doing, you'll see me doing dozens of them in the next 12 months. So it'll, no it'll be both in, both in the business world and in the personal development world. Cause same thing, like if I can have a book funnel, I have to write a book. This is, this <laughs> is a win. really good thing for me. So yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. So in fact, that's one reason why I just, I, so people know, I, I recently bought Dan Kennedy's company. The reason why is he's published like 40 books yeah. that now I have, that I can do it. It's so like, we're in the process of pumping out a whole bunch of Dan Kennedy book funnels because I know they're selling them on Amazon, which is, come on, as you know, like, yeah, that's the yeah. channel, but it's not how you grow. And I got to grow that business now. So, yeah. You know, I've always wondered that about Dan. I've, I've followed Dan for a long time and I've always thought, why is he not doing book funnels with every single one of these books? I guess he will <laughs> he be. will be soon. soon. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. yeah. This may be, you know, a, a question that's kind of redundant because you just talked about, you know, new book funnels, but how important have the book funnels been to the growth of click funnels? Like, I don't know if you can attribute a percentage of it or you can, you know, just give me kind of an overview of what that looks like. Yeah, they're insanely important. Uh, and the reason why is because they're context, right? Like someone comes to ClickFunnels, if you have the context, like, oh, I know, you know, I'm a marketer, I know what a funnel is, they go and they can, they can get software and they can do it. Yeah. But for the most of the world, they don't. And so like they come to ClickFunnels and they sign up and then they, they hear people talk about the sign up and then they, they churn out, they leave, right? Right. And so the book funnels are big on a couple of points. One is like with their front ends we bring people into, but number two, when people churn out, they're the channel we push people to. Because as soon as you, you read the book and then you have the context, like, right. oh, now this makes sense. Now I understand why I need this thing. Then they come back. And so it's, it's been huge for us on a front end acquisition, but then also like reconverting people who came and then, and didn't understand the context and then they, they left. And it used to be like, I'd have to do a webinar every single time, right? I have to train them, right? I have to do a seminar, all these things. Where now it's like, 
just read the book and then read the book and then they have the aha and it's like now it created the desire for the core thing I'm selling, right? right? Like that's what all of marketing and business is, is that like we have to create desire for the thing we're selling. And so books are one of the most powerful, if not the most powerful way to create that desire. And the person who's going to read a book is a better customer, hands down, than any other type of customer, right? Yeah. Uh, book readers are, yeah, they'll spend more money with you long term. They're more likely to send. They're more likely to stick. They're like, they're just, they become better people because they, they I hate saying that because like, you know, most people in my life that I love don't read, but you literally become a better person by reading. And so they become better customers, better long-term things. And so if I can get people to read a book, man, it, it changes them as a human. Mm. And then I can do more with them as a customer long-term as well. And, um, and it's still to this day, I mean, we still, the book funnels is, you know, we spend probably half our budget to clickfunnels.com and the other half of our budget, which is, you know, a million plus dollars a month, just promoting book funnels because, you know, we, we acquire customers pr- profitably. Like if someone goes to ClickFunnels and signs up, I lose money. It's costing me you know, 200 bucks for a free trial. And I make that money over the next, you know, six months or five wow. months or whatever you know, it takes to, to break even. But on the book funnels, I still break even immediately. You know, they go through the upsell down. So process, I break even immediately. And then we introduce them to click funnel. So those customers who come through book funnel also are profitable immediately, as opposed to in the future, which is so much less stress on me as a, as a person who's got to float that money, you know? Yeah. Well, you, you just threw out some, some incredible, like numbers. So I want to, I want to just <laughs> take a breath and I want to go through it. So, so about a half a million bucks a month is going into your book funnels, dot com yep. secrets, expert secrets, traffic secrets. Now you have some others as well. You have the cookbook and, and various other things. Could you, could you give us, I, I know that everyone is a little bit different with upsells and downsells. So rather than going through them individually, which would take forever, give us the philosophy of, you know, what the the whole process looks like from the free plus shipping to the first bump, upsell one, two, et cetera. Talk me through the philosophy. Yeah. So the core thing is the book, obviously, is like, how do we sell the book? And the best way to sell a book is to sell for free. And we've done tests that are interesting. Like we've done like free plus shipping books, which do well. We've also done paid books where you get free shipping and they convert almost the same. So I had a lot of authors I've worked with, like, I'm not giving my book away for free. That diminishes the value of it. I'm like, cool, let's just do book plus free shipping. Literally the same cost. We just change the verbiage and they feel better about themselves. So I'm like, wow. cool, do whatever you want. But it's nice because the hook is awesome because on an ad, it's a great ad. Like, hey, get the book for free. If, on a, if you're on a podcast interview, if you're on a, like wherever you're at, it's just an easy thing. You know, if I'm in a conversation with someone, like, hey, what do you do? I'm like, oh, actually go get, go get my book. It's completely free. It's cover shipping. I can push people to that. And it's just an easy way to, it's an easy outlet to get people to versus like, go to Amazon and buy my book as opposed to go get it for free. You just got to cover the shipping. So right. I, it's, just, it's such a good offer on the front end. Um, but even with that, it's funny, I've seen people who try to do it and they just have like their book. But if you look at my, any of the, the sales pages, like it's a book, but it's still an offer. You get a book, plus you get this course, plus you get like, it's still, you have a long form sales that are selling this book because we want to increase the the conversion as much as possible and increase the value of the, of the book. And so we create an offer. And that's the, the first thing. And so most of mine are, are the book. And then it's like, what are the core principles in the book? We'll put together an audio program or a video program. And then, you know, some some worksheets and just 30 day challenge that goes to the book. And we put together just a bunch of stuff to make the value of the book even, even more. Right. Yeah. And that's what so, they're getting for the shipping charge of seven ninety five or whatever, which, you know, bundle that up and it could be hundreds of dollars or a thousand dollars of value. Yep. For sure. Awesome. Now, a couple of things is I still want to sell books on Amazon and Barnes and Noble stuff. So if someone goes to that page and they leave, we exit pop up like, Oh, don't want to buy it through my funnel. Click here to buy it on Amazon or Barnes and Noble or audible. And it pushes. So we still make, we can still spend all the money driving it there, but if they don't buy, we still push them to the other things. And in, in the copy on, I think some of them we have like, you can buy us on Amazon for 20 bucks. And we'll have a picture of the Amazon listing, but you get it for free here. And then we still get people to click on Amazon and just buy an Amazon anyway. Cause some people just love buying Amazon. Yeah. And, and so we let them have those outlets. Cause I still want my books to rank on those platforms and, you know, sales coming through. And so we do have those outlets there, but again, the, the paid money is all going to to the book funnel. And then after some signs of the book, uh, or, you know, from there we have an order form bump. And recently we've been testing multiple order form bumps, which has done really well. So we have right now the audio book, which I think is 37 bucks, uh, which is just a no brainer. Most people, you know, I think it's like, they want it. Yeah. 30, 40% of people take that. But then, um, for each book I've done, I think, you know, this, but most people don't, the way I do my books is I teach, I do an event live first teaching the principles to make sure it structurally makes sense in my head. And my stories are are not boring and stuff like that. And then we'd write the book afterwards. And so the second order for a month, we said for $97, you get the workshop where I taught the stuff before we ever did it. And that one's getting like a, like a 20% take rate on $97 wow. bump. So between those two, like it dramatically increases. Like a lot of times those two order form bumps will cover our advertising costs just by themselves, which is amazing. 
Wow. And so that's kind of the, the first thing that happens by the time the credit card is filled out. And then we take them to our upsell, downsell sequence. And this, we change and tweak this a lot. And so I'll kind of talk conceptually where we go with this, but um, I'm always trying new things because, you know, especially when we spend this much money, like we have to keep tweaking things to get the ad, the cart value to be high enough that we can cover ad costs a lot of right. times at scale. And so, but for me, it's conceptually, okay, they just got, they have the book now, they have the audio book, they have the, the course. So they kind of understand the core principles of, of the book. And one mistake people make a lot of times, I, I continue to make a mistake more often than I want to admit. It's like, okay, they bought, let's say they bought uh, traffic secrets. So, okay, they bought traffic secrets. Now I'm going to sell them a course, teach them how to get traffic. But the problem is like in someone's mind with information products is as soon as someone buys something in their mind, like th- that itch they have, like, oh, I got to get traffic. Yeah. They scratch that itch. And like, oh, I like, I have traffic now, even yeah. though I haven't yeah. implemented it in their head, they've, they've got it figured out. <laughs> I've solved that problem. Yeah. 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 And so it's like, if you try to sell like a traffic course on the next page, it's like, but I just bought traffic. I think I already have traffic now. And so it's, we have to conceptually think like, okay, every time we sell something to somebody, we just solve the problem for them, but then we created a new problem. Right. And that's, that's the psychology of all upsell, downsell flow in information products. It's actually different with physical, like e-commerce products, but info products the question is always, okay, we just solve that problem for them. By solving that problem, what is the new problem that was created, right? So in dot-com secrets, I saw like, now they have funnels, like they have this thing, funnels. The next thing is like, we have funnels, what's the next thing? So for them, traffic is the next thing. Like you have, right. this, you have these cool funnels, we have no traffic. And so traffic is the next logical upsell. So I'm, I'm usually trying to sell something between 197 and 297 in that, in that first slot there. Yeah. And so dot-com secrets is going to be something traffic. With traffic secrets, like, oh, you have traffic. Um, but where are you sending that traffic? If you send it to Amazon, listen, you're in trouble. You actually need funnels, right? Expert secrets is all about copy and story and those kind of things. And so the next thing, um, I can't remember right now what we're testing, what it is, but it might be traffic as well. Ah, I can't remember the top of my head, but anyway, but that's the, the psychology yeah. is like, what's the next thing that they need? And then upsell number two is the same thing. It's like literally, okay, now we've got traffic solved. Now we've got your funnel solved. What's the next thing? Oh, your funnels aren't converting. So, you know, so for me, it's like literally the three books I have, they, they kind of, Co- they dovetail. They, yeah. They're yeah. They, they go back and forth, which is, which is really cool. You know, in my, in my personal development book, I'm going to be helping them with growth, which is like, you know, per, you know, growth. And so now I'm not sure yet. we haven't launched it or I haven't even finished writing it, if I'm honest, <laughs> but, um, but after the, you know, in my mind, personal development, the, there's this phase, people go through a growth phase and after they grow to a certain level and they transition to contribution, which contribution is like sharing your gifts and like selling the, you know, and like starting a business. And so it'll be some version of like, that'll be the next thing is like, cool. Yeah. We're helping you personal development. And as you start becoming this new person, you're going to want to share these things and change the world. And like, da da da, and like, and that becomes the next, the next thing. And so that's the psychology on how we do them is just sitting down literally and brainstorming, you know, Dan Kennedy stuff. That's what we're doing with his books right now. It's okay. We just got this thing. It's the magnetic marketing book. Like what's the next thing that they need? And like, okay, looking through the catalog, what products do we have? And like, Oh, what do we, what do we need to create? What do I got to buy some more time with Dan to create? So we have the perfect upsell. It's going to fit next in the, in the sequence and things like that. Love that. Your Dan Kennedy offer, by the way, was fantastic. I don't even know as part of the inner circle if I get that, but I bought everything because <laughs> um, <laughs> I wanted those, it. I'm like, oh, I want it all. <laughs> for those who want to know that of every funnel I've ever created in my life, that one has the highest cart value. So for each customer who signs up for a trial on a newsletter, it has the most like, so it's worth looking at. And in fact, we've remodeled, we made one of those for click funnels as well. And it's crushing. Yeah. Not His numbers aren't as well as, as um, that one, but yeah, it's, it's killing it. <laughs> well, it is killing it. I mean, it. You know, I just taught on, I mean, I got the invisible funnel stuff, which, you know, we talked about that last time. And you said something, I think at the last inner circle meeting, or maybe you said it in the newsletter and you said, you know, I don't know why, but no one ever like tests this. Nobody I copies said, that one. I said, oh, I am. I am. So <laughs> I, I have built out something. I'm going to share about it at our next inner circle meeting, but I built out this whole new kind of uh, workshop invisible funnel thing that we're just starting to run traffic to. So I'm actually really excited about it. And literally I just went through I just went through the Dan Kennedy stuff and the behind the scenes so cool. stuff. I'm like, this is so anyway, we'll give a link or something because if people don't have it, that is a great, that Dan Kennedy offer was a great offer. Yeah, no, it's, it's, yeah, it's been a fun one. It's funny. Cause like in Dan Kennedy's world for the last 20 years, 30 years, they've ran that the newsletter has always been a loss leader. They, they signed people up for, I think a three month trial and they would try yeah. to make money by like month five or six well, right now, you know, we're making almost $300 right now still for every person who signs up for free trial. So I can spend 300 bucks to get a trial customer, which they've never been able to do. So we're able to finally scale this thing profitably with media up front, which is, you know, even Dan's like, this is really cool. I'm like, 
Yeah, Katie said it's cool. Like I'm freaking out. Like he's, you know, my biggest mentor, and like he's saying this is anyway. I'm loving it. <laughs> I love it. Well, congratulations. I mean, I'm I'm really glad that you did it too because I'd been a member of G, GKSC for I don't know since the early 2000s, and I kind of canceled my subscription. And you know, there it just yeah. had lost so much, you know, so much that it had in the past. And you've brought it all back. So, which I'm sure you know feels really good also from yeah. your perspective. So can I share one idea that came from Kennedy yeah, stuff that yeah. might help people? In fact, if you give me four seconds, if I run that room, I'm going to grab a book to Do show it. that'll, that'll illustrate. So give me four seconds. Do it. Okay. So this is for those who are watching the video version. If you're on the audio, just imagine something really cool. So <laughs> what's been cool is I've been going through Dan's archives, right? Like I, they, when I bought the company, they gave me a Google drive and it's like, here's everything for the last 40 years of Dan Kennedy. So, which is so fun. I'm going through and weaving through and finding stuff. And in the like, 1400 subfolders down, I found this folder that said Dan faxes from Dan Kennedy. And I was like, what's this? Because if you don't know Dan, Dan doesn't have an email account. Like to this day, I'm partners with him now. And I, I literally have to fax him to send him anything. It's ridiculous. Um, <laughs> did you have to buy a fax machine, by the way? Uh, I mean, we, how do you even do we, that? We actually tried to. They don't sell fax. You can't <laughs> physically buy a fax machine anymore unless it's part of this huge printer setup and everything. So, yeah, so we had an <laughs> e-fax or I don't know, something like that. <laughs> It's hilarious, but I found this folder and the it, it folder is it dated from 2012, 2019. And it was during that window, he would send a fax to his diamond members. People paying 300 bucks a month. He sent a fax every single month. These people or excuse me, every week. So every Friday, he sent this fax. It was just a one page fax with like a tip from Dan, like it was a marketing tip or a strategy or psychology or like, and as I'm going through these, these facts, I'm like, this is insane. Like, dude, I'll buy it. I would buy it. Oh yeah. It. And it was like, a, it was a thing someone sent. And then again, it died. Like it was a fax and it died. So my thing is like, how do we, I want to extend Dan's legacy forever and my own legacy, Napoleon Hill, all the people that I love and cherish. And so I went through that. And I was like, what if we took all of Dan's faxes from the seven year period of time and put them into a book? And I don't have to write anything other than a one page intro of like what this thing is. And so boom, here oh it is the Dan God. Kennedy diamond fax book. This thing is every fax that Dan sent for seven years to his, to his members. And this is now, phys- this book is like, it's like a phone book. You oh can see it for God. those who can't see it. It's a huge book. I wrote one page. It was me saying, I found this faxes of Dan. They're so cool. And now I have a book. And we're using this so people that are paying night, you'll see this actually coming out next month. Everyone who's paying $97 a month newsletter, I want to get them to send up to the $300 a month, which is the diamond level. And so I thought, if you want, if you send up, I'll send you this fax book of all dance facts into dime members in the past. And now I have a book, but this could be a free plus shipping. This could be like, it could be a book funnel. But it's, it's, a, it's a book ascension funnel to get people to send up to the next, to the next level. Wow. Um, and so it doesn't always have to be sitting down and writing a book like, yeah. I found facts as I put them together. Napoleon Hill, I'm finding all these things from him, like on the online, like I'm finding old books, old magazines, old things from him that I'm able to take. And then I'm writing commentary, putting them together. And boom, we've got a book. I'm literally taking, uh, again, this is coming to like, I did, I do Funnel Hacking Live when it's done, it dies, right? So every year for Funnel Hacking Live, Garrett White spoke in the last seven years in a row. And so I was like, first one I want to test with this here. So I took his seven presentations. We got them transcribed, got them cleaned up, had, had uh, editors clean them up so it makes more sense. And I took all those, put them into a book. And then in the book, I have QR codes where you can take your phone, you, you QR code over and it pops up the video. So you can watch the video from the book or you can read the, the version of it. And it's now this huge fat book that'll be uh, next probably three months will be launching that one. And it's a Garrett White, have it all like this huge book of all Garrett stuff. And if this model works, so I think it will, I'm going to go back through all my presentations. I'll have a Russell Brunson F- FHL book. And I'll have like all the w- presentations on webinars or all the ones. And just, I'm going to be publishing so many books where I'm not writing anything because, you know, we talked about that earlier. <laughs> and so I think people understood that there's so many ways to create books. It's coming back to like, what's the story? Like the story behind this Dan Kennedy book is exciting. The story is what sells it in the book funnel, right? The story of, and so just being creative, like there's so many ways you can create books and understanding that the written word is more powerful than, than a free CD or an MP3 player, anything I make, you can put your content into the written word into a format like that. It's magic as you know, and I know, but uh, hopefully it helps sell everybody else on like just the power of it. Dude, that is brilliant. I want the diamond book. <laughs> it's so good. Uh, I want the faxes. It's I'm so looking good. at them like, I want that right now. Uh, we literally, this is the first copy. The second one we shipped directly to Dan, and I got a fax from Dan the next day. I need 15 more in my office to, as, as soon as possible. Like, he's freaking out about it. He's like, this thing that he spent all his effort on for seven years. I know. I know. Now I, he's seen like, oh my gosh, like this is extending like the work I did once is now I can, you know, we're going to see everyone benefiting from this for forever, which is so cool. It is. It is cool. And, you know, I mean, if you've ever read, if anyone's listening and hasn't read Dan Kennedy's stuff, you don't know what you're missing. I mean, the guy is brilliant. He's an incredible writer. He's a great entertainer and educator at the same time. So that's what, when I see stuff like that, I'm like, oh man, I, you know, you, 
Because, you know, every page is going to be a self-contained story. And th- there's power in that as well, right? Because oh, yeah. you don't have to read a whole chapter. You can read yeah. three pages and and maybe have a brilliant idea, which is exactly what I did with the newsletter. You know, you yeah. talked about it in the Inner Circle meeting. I got the newsletter. I'm like, why am I not doing this? And it's, you know, a little self-contained book. So anyway, love oh, cool. it, man. Love what you do. <laughs> Awesome. So I guess just, you know, final, and maybe this is kind of a shameless plug question, but what would you tell somebody that was thinking about writing a book, but no, it's hard and maybe they've tried or, or thinking about doing a book funnel and will it work for them? And what would you, you tell, you know, that person? Yeah, I think, and I'm not saying this just because it's you, but like, it's the catalyst for every business. We launched click funnels. It did okay. Then we built a book funnel and then it blew up. Um, my new personal development company, like step number one, I'm writing a book. <laughs> like, yeah. you know, Dan Kennedy, I bought the company. Step number one, which book funnel are we building? Like that's for me, it's like the beginning of it all, right? It's the, it's the education piece. It's how you indoctrinate people. It's how you train people. It's how you, you find the best customers. It's how you acquire them profitably. Like it's, there's no business I would ever do in the future that didn't lead with the book funnel. And that's just like the, the reality of it. And so mm. it blows my mind that more people aren't doing it. I'm grateful for you out there publishing it and teaching it and getting more people doing it because it's the thing. And then the biggest thing in my life right now, I'm so legacy based. Like I'm trying to figure out, cause I feel like I'm going to die. And I want some guy 200 years from now who looks like me on eBay, buying my old stuff. And like, they're not going to buy my old fun hacking live seminars. They're not going to buy my old CDs. Right. They're not going like, to be buying my old books. I need to get as many books out there as possible so that someday 200 years from now, they're on eBay for someone else to buy and yeah. find to be able to, you know what I mean? Like for the next Russell Brunson, like they got to be there. And so um, I just think it's, man, if you want to extend what you're doing, if you believe in your mission or your, the things you've learned, the lessons you've learned, like it's the book is the thing that's going to extend that, that your legacy beyond the grave, um, nothing else will. And so I think that's why I'm doubling down so much effort into books right now. My own Dan Kennedy's, the people that I love and respect, bringing them out in the forefront, because yeah, I mean, you think about, you know, not to get religious, but religious, like what's been passed down from Adam till now, like it's books, it's the physical word. books, like the printed word is the only thing that that survives us. And so if you want to extend your legacy and, and um, the written word is the only way to do it. So yeah. anyway, and the book funnel is a way to sell a bunch. So that, uh, that way there's millions of copies of your book out in the market. So that way when you are gone, like it can, it can keep getting passed on. So yeah. Love it. Love it. Brother, thank you. Thanks for your time. Uh, we'll give them some links to ClickFunnels as well as to the Dan Kennedy offer. Anything else you want to send people to or, or anything um, else? Or? For me, if you go to marketingseekers.com, there's links to all my book funnels, all right. the paid ones, the freed ones. Like We have a bunch of free book funnels. We have $7 digital. We're testing all sorts of stuff. Print physical books are still my favorite, but you know you can see links to all my stuff. And if you do go with anything, even if you don't want to buy my stuff, uh, if you do go through it, just like buy it. I was telling people, like buy things slowly. Like like we need to just throw these things up. This is a whole team of people and analytics and split testing and traffic. Like there's yeah. a whole team making these things amazing. Like just look at those things because that's the marketing lesson in and of itself is just watching the process. So yeah. Love it. <laughs> Love it. Russell, thank you. I'm grateful for you. I look forward to seeing you in a couple of weeks uh, up in Boise and I uh, would love to love to see your big library. That would be fun. <laughs> Just don't tell everybody else. We'll sneak you over. (laughs) (laughs) Awesome. Awesome. Great seeing you, man. I appreciate you. Thanks, brother. Hey, thanks for listening in on the Publish, Promote, Profit podcast. If you enjoyed it, please take a minute and like and subscribe to the podcast because every week I bring you either great guests or great teaching to help you to grow your income and your impact with a best-selling book. And if you're interested in having your own best-selling book, check out my short video, which explains our trademark process at beginmybook.com.